Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on our door script. For that, in the game folder, then scripts folder, let's create a new folder by the name of door. In this door, we will create a new script by the name of door controller. All right, let's click on this door and drag and drop this script at the top right there. All right, now let's double click on it to open it up in Visual Studio Code. Then we're going to remove the start and update method and let's declare some variables. First of all, we're going to make a reference to the animator. So name this as door animator. Then we need a reference to the player transform. So for that, we will say public transform player all right then we need a deduction distance all right so if the player is in the deduction distance of the door then only then the player will be able to open the door if the player is far away the player will not be able to open it up all right so name this as deduction deduction distance let's make it three by default then we need a reference to the player layer mask so we will say public layer mask and name this as player layer all right then we will create a pool which will be private by the name of is player near set it to false by default then we need a string for key layer name all right and i'm going to explain why we need this all right name this as key layer name and this will be null by default because we will add key name manually all right so let me save this and get back right here okay right here we have the script and everything else all right let me first of all select the key which is this one all right because using this key we will open up that door which is the kitchen door all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this key and right here we have the layer which is default so we're gonna add another layer let's name this as kitchen door key all right name this exactly the same as i did kitchen door key then select the key and apply this layer all right click on yes change children all right so now this key is on this layer all right now what we want we want this door to be only opened by a key which has a layer and that layer name is kitchen door key all right this is the layer name which we added to our key so just make sure that you type it exactly the same right here all right so now whenever the player has something that has a layer which is kitchen door key then the player will be able to open this door all right for now we didn't type that code in which we will do all of this so let's go ahead and do it first of all in the start method we're going to set up the door animator reference so door animator equals to get component we want to get the animator all right then after this we're going to create a method by the name of check player distance in this method we will check that if the player is near a door or not all right so we're going to check that using a raycast so for that we will create a raycast hit type variable by the name of hit then let's check the distance so we will say direction to player actually the reason we name this as direction to player is because uh, as you know that we will be creating a ray so we want the ray to be in the direction 
of the player all right from the player in the forward direction all right so how are we gonna do that we're gonna say player dot position minus transform dot position then in the if condition let's create a ray actually let's first of all create a ray so in order to create a ray we will say physics dot ray cast we want to cast a ray from the door position in the direction of the player all right then we will say out hit so whatever this ray hit we're going to store it in the hit variable and we're going to pass the detection distance as a ray limit and we're going to pass the player layer to it all right then we will say if we are creating a ray then what we want to do we want to say that if the ray hits the player so hit dot transform is equal equals to player then we will set the is player near to true because yes the player is near the door and we're going to return and if we are not creating any ray then the is player near will be false because there is no player near the door now let's create a method in order to open the door so in order to open the door first of all right here we will create a method by the name of open door and in here what we're gonna do we're gonna first of all check that if the door animator is not null and if it is not null then after that we're gonna check that if the door requires a key all right so we will say if not string dot is null or empty all right then pass the key layer name right there all right what this means now for example if you leave the key layer name empty then that will mean that the door doesn't require any key and if you type a key layer name in here then it means that the door will require that specific key all right so now what this means right here is uh, we are checking if the door requires a key or not so if it requires a key then we will check if the player has a key with the specified layer so for that first of all create a bool right here by the name of player has key it will be equals to false by default all right then after this we gonna check inside the player game object if the player has any object that has a layer which will be equals to the key layer name all right so if the player has that then it means the player has key all right so we will say for each transform key in player all right this is this player transform right there all right so we're gonna check inside the player every transform all right then we're gonna say that if key dot game object dot layer is equals to layer mask dot name to layer and that name is the key layer name then it means the player has key so player has key bool will be equals to true and we're gonna just simply return from here and after this we're gonna add a if condition right here and we're gonna say that if the player doesn't have any key then we will just simply return from here okay because we don't want to do anything else if the player doesn't have the required key do not open the door 
and if the player has any key then we need to open up the door so right after this if condition which is this main one right outside we're gonna now open the door so we need to play the animation so in order to play the animation we will say door animator dot set trigger and as you know that we have created a trigger by the name of open in the previous video so we're gonna type that name right here and we can also play a sound but we're gonna do that later and also we're gonna let the cranny know that the door is open all right because of course the uh, whenever the player open up the door the cranny will know that there is someone in the house which is opening the doors that's it now right here what we're gonna do we're gonna create another method by the name of on door button press alright the reason we are creating this method uh, you will later know what uh, why we are creating this method but for now in this method just call this open door method in in this one then uh, get back at the top and in the update we're gonna say that first of all check the player distance and after that if the player is near and the player presses the E key because using the E key we're gonna open up the door so input dot get key down key code dot E then we're gonna on door button press we're gonna call this method in here that's it now if we get back right here and click on this door as you can see on this door we already added the key layer name and we also add this layer to our key now for the player add the player layer and for the player transform just simply drag and drop the player in there that is all you have to do and as you know the key uh, the key right here has the layer already added so now if you go ahead and play the game all right if we go ahead and pick up the key let's move this key up all right right here I'm gonna drop it and let's try to open up the door as you can see the door is not opening but if we pick up this key and now let's try to open the door Okay, nothing happens if we select the door and increase its radius to 5 still nothing happens as you can see all right let me close this so the reason the door was not opening is because right here we type return all right we don't have to type return we need to type break right here Alright, so make sure that you change this from return to break and after that save the script again. Then get back right here, select this door, click on animator and right here this door open animation is set to loop time. So we need to remove loop time because if we play the game and then test it out you will notice the door will be opening again and again. We don't want that. We want the door open animation to be just played once all right so that's why just remove the loop time from there and after that you can go ahead and play the game again now let's go ahead and pick up the key when you pick up the key now let's get up right here if you drop it and try to open it as you can see the door doesn't open but if we pick up the key and get right here now as you can see the door opens and we can walk through the door all right select this door and you can make the detection distance as 1.2 or 1.3 if you want because detection uh, distance was 3 and it was really huge it, it it was detecting player from here okay we don't want it we want when the player is really close to the door then we want to open the door right so that's why i've made this 1.2 
all right so the door can open now and in the next video we will add more keys and more doors all right so see you guys in the next one